So, um, before I, I, I pass you over to Neil, um, I will ask you to raise the torch, Neil. The unexpected? Yeah. Neil. So, <laughs> and uh, one last thing before I do pass you over. Uh, Neil has an incredible imagination. <laughs> um, he's always been able to deliver a great story, great speech, um, and everything in between. Um, I think it's come from when he won the creative writing competition in the United States. I've got an imagination too, but no way. So please bear this in mind for when he uh, delivers the next speech. So I don't know what he's, what he's got in mind, but I'm kind of venturing a bet to see it just in case he, he delivers something which I'm not too happy about. Um, <laughs> So, um, so to me, big on you. So, no pressure. For those of you that don't know me, just a quick introduction. My name is Neil Wood, also known as Woody. I'm Mr. Potato Head's best man. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't matter if I'm a bee here today. It happens to be an Arsenal fan and he's watching the football. Um, I've, I've actually chatted to quite a few people in the room about my speech today. And I, as you can see, I've got my paper. I, I haven't actually written a speech. And I think that this table, the table one, has probably had the biggest clue uh, around what, what I've done. There are a few people in the room that do know what I've done. I'll get on to that in a second. But what I'd like to do, first of all, is just, well, let Mark get a quick thing, everybody, especially on the top table. There's only one thing, in my opinion, that's missing from today. Um, and let's just have a quick think about that. I'm, I'm going to maybe break from tradition and ask Mark and Kelly to open a present, uh, which would have been on the table with the gifts, but I'm going to ask them to open it now. So. Um, 
Well, maybe Trevor didn't. <laughs> 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 uh, it's actually this side of me, wasn't it? So, um, I'll, give, I'll give the secret away now. I'm about to sing a song, um, or attempt to sing a song, that I've actually written uh, for Mark and Kelly. Um, but before I do that, I'd just like to give you a quick few highlights, just so that everybody has a fair chance of understanding the content of the song. <laughs> So where do I start? Well, myself and Mark grew up in a place called Clarksfield, which is next to Grinnaker's. Our playground was actually a cemetery, <laughs> um, which explains a lot in my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, as you can probably tell, the people that know Mark, he's not the most athletic of people. Um, <laughs> not hurt by the fact that every time we got home from school, I mean, mainly primary school, which we went to around the corner, um, about half past three, his mum had his tea on the table <laughs> by quarter to four, whereas the rest of us were out there four. From time to time we'd actually get Mark to play football on the street. He wasn't, he wasn't that great, to be honest. He was actually better at playing football in the virtual world on his PlayStation. Which I joined in to spend many hours passing. So, Mark lives in two worlds the real world and the virtual one. <laughs> if you fast forward a few years, he met Kelly. I actually met Kelly in the center. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, on a serious note, I've known Mark with and without Kelly, and by far, he is a better person with Kelly. So, um, as I've given the clue away, I'm not actually going to thank anybody at the moment, but um, this day is, is about Mark and Kelly, um, and, and we will get onto the, the song in a second. Um, and hopefully you'll all understand and, and, and actually join in as well. Um, <laughs> so we, as Mark alluded to, there's one thing that he says, uh, whereas he should have listened to Kelly all along. Uh, as, as you all know now, Mark and Kelly used to live up in Leeds in Saddleworth, which is half a mile away from uh, Jane and Steve, but not too far away from my parents' house. And they moved 200 miles south to Essex. Now on the day of moving, Mark decided to look at his two bedroom terrace full of furniture, and say, yeah, that was the in the back of a toy with a high looks. <laughs> it actually came free, thanks to Danny. <laughs> it's just because it's a tight house. <laughs> and the rest of it was just put in the back of our cars. You know, it'll be fine. Kelly, being the brains, said, no way is that going to happen. So, Mark said it's fine. Go ahead. Set off with your full car, and I'll see you down there. Mark then proceeded to fill his power up, fill the Toyota Hilux up, and then realised he's probably got another van load left behind. So, off he sets, thinking, if I ever did one sack of kids, by the time I get to Essex, I probably won't be able to, because I promised Kelly that I should have everything for the day when he actually moved. So what did he do? He rang me, obviously. I was in bed at the time, on a Saturday morning. I probably travelling back from somewhere on Friday night and decided to have a line. And Mark said, I need you to go and get a van and drive 200 miles. Uh, and actually, I forgot to say goodbye. I did a little bit of a call. I didn't even know there was actually a meeting on that day, which is fine. Anyway, so I was driving on the, on the Monday anyway. So I said, you know what, I'll come down tomorrow. So I went, and with Steve and Jenny actually went and packed the van, took it down there, and the rest is history. But the lesson learned is, Mark, you need to listen to Kelly from now on. <laughs> yeah. uh, the final point before I move on to the uh, pinnacle of my speech, um, is Mark is known for his phrases. So you'll probably have noticed there's a small card in each of your uh, settings, uh, which is a card that I put together with a, with, a, with, a, with a phrase in it. Now Mark's phrases are usually something like eat, sleep, bread, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's usually got a hashtag in front of it, like hashtag repeat. 
<laughs> that's a, a sad dude joke, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to introduce another phrase to Mark's vocabulary here. It was actually one from a long time ago uh, from Mark T. Now, does anybody I know there's a couple of people I've spoken to who actually know the real Mark T, who said, or is, is, uh, is given the credit for this phrase? Does anybody want to take a guess? Looking at the dates, Mark Twain? Mark Twain. Yes. So I chopped the W-I-N off and gave Mark the credit for the quote, but that is why you've got that on, on your desk. Now, that's the, the reason for it is, is, is threefold. So it's one to add an increased Mark's vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> Give him another quote or a hashtag you might want to use in the future. Two is obviously memento of today, but three is so that you can join in with the song that I'm about to sing because these are actually some of the lyrics. Now, as I said, this is a song that I've written. I'm by no means a professional <laughs> uh, singer-songwriter, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, when we get to, the, to, the, to this part of the song, it would be absolutely fantastic if you all want to make me feel like a rock star <laughs> and sing along with it. Now, I understand what that is. Since you've all probably pissed by now, it's probably fine for Mark's speech. Uh, so feel free to join in as loud as you can, and I think if we can actually get the whole room singing, the effect is going to be uh, uh, phenomenal. Thanks. No, but I honestly think it, think it is. So without further ado, I want to part two, and I apologise for the length of this speech. It's probably a bit longer than ever, and I'll do my best. Give me a second to plug in. hear this, because I don't do this very often, I'll admit it. This is a brand new amp. So if you, Sonny, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay, cool. Right, we've got this far without too many tears, and uh, I've only written a few songs in my time for the people that are closest to me, uh, all of which are actually in the room. Uh, if it's not a song that I've written, it's something that I've done for them. Uh, privileged view of Mark and Kelly are about to be added to that list. So I hope you enjoy this. is a song I call Sing Like No One's Listening. It's, it's what I'm about to do now. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. 
congratulations on behalf of us all. If you ever need me, I'll be there. Give me a call. On that day, 11 years ago, Invasion Express. Your eyes met Kelly's. We all know who needed the eye test. Saturday morning, you gave me a call. You said, I tried to fit my house in Gaddy's van, but it's just too small. <laughs> I need you to rent a van to bring the rest. If you do, you'll be the man I made you the best. With Steve and Jenny, I packed the van. Oh, what a fast 200 miles and it's all in one piece If you don't break Kelly's box <laughs> So Mark and Kelly We wish you all the best Thanks for sharing this day with us And all the rest Congratulations On behalf of us all Not on Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Your first act in Zachary Fit. I didn't know what to think. Happy memories of good times and some nightmares. Where he's finished in pink. It's a private job, by the way. Sorry. <laughs>
Please be upstanding, everyone in this room. Raise your glasses to the beautiful bride and groom. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful bride and groom. We wish you all the best. Thanks for sharing your special day with us. I look forward to the rest.